Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young, Gander RV and Outdoors, standing inside the Cruiser RV's MPG 3100 Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. These are fiberglass travel trailers that were built to be affordable, fun, and have a lot of upgraded features that you won't find in travel trailers. What do you say we start right back here in the bunk room? Back wall, we have a panoramic window with the wood balance that is decorated, and check out the steps leading up to the double bunk that we have sitting here on the campsite. Not only is that convenient for getting up and down, you also have cubbyhole storage on every step right there. Plus you got storage here, you got an entertainment space right here with your own dual USB charging plus power and cable connection, a little bit of mudroom space for your shoes, your boots, whatever, and solid wood shaker style cabinets with the matte black or graphite style fixtures all the way around this travel trailer. Got our own LED light, this one has a 13.5 BTU air conditioner in the back with the quick cool. Uh, the main air conditioner is a 15,000 BTU. So you have dual ACs in this unit. Single over bunk right here with a 275 pound max capacity with those teddy bear bunk style mattresses. This lifts up because right down there, you have the fold out mini sofas that have the cup holders in them. These can be you know changed into different configurations, but they also come together and act as another twin bunk down there. So easily sleep three adults in here. Got a solid door separating the bunk room from the rest of the travel trailer. Good storage space right here as we come out, shaker style cabinets, deep and wide space shelves in there. Got a solid door leading into the bathroom. Uh, and take a look at the space that we have in here, plus the style. I got a corners angled uh, plastic bowl with the foot flush large vanity right here with the large single basin sink. Once again, that graphite style fixture. Got the mirrored medicine cabinet, got my little raised lips right there to help keep stuff where it needs to be when in transit. Our own access point coming into the bathroom. That's important because when you're talking about a family travel trailer, if you got a main access point and you got a bedroom up front and a bunk room back here, this is good so the people staying in the bunk room can come and go as they please. They're not going to wake everybody up in the travel trailer. Plus, we've got these large six foot 11 inch high barrel ceilings, which really help with giving me the additional headroom here in the single surround shower and tub. Got my corner notches there. Got my skylight right here, which gives me a little bit of extra headroom, plus brings in that additional light. I even have a vent and fan right here. Powered so I can open that up. Come on out into the living space and right away, residential from the wood balances and the decorations going all the way around to the little inlays, even the designs here on the super slide. We got the large booth dinette, easily fits four people. That's a good spot to reconnect with the family, the loved ones, enjoy those camp meals. Plus you got storage space underneath. This does reduce down into a sleeper, could easily fit two adults there. Large panoramic windows letting in that light, that airflow, got the plush, comfy sofa here that also becomes a sleeper and get your dual usb charging ports right there come over here to the campsite kitchen seamless countertop with plenty of prep space plus i like this curved edge right here almost giving us more prep space here got the large single basin undermounted farmhouse style sink with the cutting board cover and you got that graphite style high-rise faucet the only thing i like to see here is a sprayer Large window looking out onto the campsite. Got a flush mounted three burner cooktop with glass cover. Got me some LED lights to accent that there on the burner and oven controls. There's my oven. Got my flush mounted microwave right here beside the frosted glass inlay shaker style cabinets. Look at the space that I have there. And not to be outdone, you got a residential 12 volt, 10 cubic foot fridge right here. Look at the space you have there. Plenty of room for those weekend getaways, those long trips. Beautiful entertainment center. And check out the backlight that we have here. So that would be a great night light, but it also doubles as a little extra security when you're loading your stuff there. Strut supporting, got the wood with the LED accents here, LED TV on a swivel. Got my command center here with HDMI, dual zone. So that'll allow you to play the music inside and out. Component shelf here storage there and the accent light also goes down at the bottom great spot to throw the shoes a little mini mudroom if you will main access point here got your control panel down there so you could check the battery the fresh tanks check the water levels the battery disconnect run the awning out run the slides out and 
check it out. Cut on the water heater. And boom. All in one spot. Double solid doors leading into the master bedroom with a king size bed. Yep, you heard me. 72 by 80. Strut supported storage right there under the bed. Good spot for the bags, the fishing gear, the hunting gear. And take a look at the shaker style cabinets that we have on the ward storage. Side opening up top as well. Solid wood, frosted glass inlay here in the middle with our own little LED accent light up there. Very nice, very residential. And got my night shelf there. Got a laundry chute right here. So if you want to pass the laundry down, you absolutely could. Dual USB and power port. So if you needed to plug in that CPAP machine or whatever, you got it on both sides. If you want to mount the TV, bam, backer and power right there. All new Cruiser RV MPG 3100BH. I'm a fan. I like what they did with this one. We've seen the inside. What do you say we go take a Gander RV and Outdoors at the outside? Okay, so here we are on the outside of the all new Cruiser RV MPG 3100BH. Let's start right up front. You got the power tongue jack and LED light, twin 20 pound LP tanks right behind it. We got the diamond plated rock guard and take a look at the beautiful molded and painted fiberglass end cap. Plus you got that seamless roof that goes all the way over the top. You got the Asdell backing to give you extra insulation right behind that foam core to help keep the climate where you want it. Got my LED light strips right here. Pass through storage with magnetic anti-slam doors and hinges right here and take a look finished off i got myself an led light strip running all the way down helping with the visibility and the security at night power leveling jacks on the front and the rear plus an enclosed underbelly on this travel trailer got the solid steps leading into the extra large friction hinge door with the grab handle that doubles as a door guard and of course we have sealed safety glass all the way around this travel trailer as well there's those dual zone speakers I was talking about, the 19 foot awning with the LED light strip. If you want to set up the external entertainment, you got your power port and cable connection right here. Dual axle travel trailer on those 15 inch aluminum wheels. And those are the Dexter Easy Lube axles. So making sure that when you're going down the road, suspension isn't going to mess with you. It's going to be a nice trip. And when you set up, it's going to be a nice time outside because we have ourselves a Bayutimus external kitchen. Love it. Got my two burner cooktop right here. Plenty of prep space here. I even have some of that solid wood shaker style cabinets out here. So if I wanted to set up a true outside cooking experience, I just had a great catch while fishing. Come clean it up. Got my deep single basin sink right here. Wash everything out, cook it there, store my stuff there. Oh, hey, Chris, can you hand me a soda? Sure. Got the large dorm style fridge right here. Solid wood on the full ball bearing extensions here. This is also on the inside, by the way, full ball bearing drives on all of those. And you're like, hey man, I like the two burner cooktops outside, but I got my own grill. Can I plug in my own grill? Yeah, of course. LP quick connect right underneath, right there. Bam. Do your grilling, son. And then when you're ready to go, you got enough clearance for me and my giant head to get under here. So, you know, if you're over 6'4", maybe, might be a little tight. But for me, being 6'2", good space. Power leveling jack, doggy latch right here to make sure that my furry friends stay safe and secure at the campsite. We also have one of those on the front as well. 4x4 sewer hose storage there, spare tire mounted on the back. Got the backup camera and those arch ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles are gonna make sure the rain and the snow doesn't stay on, on the travel trailer, that it falls off and doesn't go on the slides either. Bunk room slide right here. And over here is our main external command center. You got your 50 amp plug right here. Fresh tank fill, satellite and cable if you can't tell by the large. They did a good job labeling that. Got a spray port, city water connection, black tank flush and our terminations right down there gray tank and black tank dumps keep coming down past these slides insulated all the way around other side of the pass through storage here as you can see these are magnetic and anti-slam they even have the hinges that are covered so that when the rain comes down you're not going to have that rust streaking on the side got solar panels got your quick connect right there so 
the most important part with any travel trailer is going to be the info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, gross vehicle weight, 9,655 pounds. That's where you ask your specialist at Gander RV and Outdoors, what does that mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Is this what's right for me? But if you're a family looking for a bunk room with a lot of space some great storage, some of those amenities from home, upgraded features in a lightweight, affordable RV, I gotta tell you, the Cruiser RV MPG 3100 bunkhouse, it's an option you should take a look at. Leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you think? What'd you like, what'd you not like? I love getting comments from you. You know, I like talking to you. And while you're at it, please also click like, subscribe and notify. So when we do get a new video come out, you're the first one to see it. And if you wanna see the prices on this unit, right there in the description is a link that says, click here for price and availability. That'll pull up the ones closest to you and how much they cost. I'm Chris Young from Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope I get a chance to see you soon, but as always, if you can, check out a camper. They're fun. I'll see you soon.